as Americans. That's right. Also, ladies, uh, John Lewis, a civil rights icon, of course, he's refusing to attend the opening of the Civil Rights Museum down in Mississippi today because President Trump will be there. Uh, ladies, what is your take on that? And specifically, let me ask you, although he won't be there, do you believe that John Lewis has earned the right to handle this situation as he sees fit? Listen, I believe John Lewis, who's supposed to be a civil rights icon, mm -hmm. who, supposed uh, to be? who was against segregation, is now segregating this president. That's who was right. against discrimination is now discriminating against this president, which is wrong. That's I right. think that John Lewis' mindset is back in the 60s. This is 2017. We already can drink out of the same water fountain, mm -hmm. eat at the same water fountain, I mean, drink, uh, eat at the same lunch counter. Right. Now it's time for us to come to the table together, hand in hand, and solve problems. And the John Lewis can't do that. What he needs to do is go home somewhere and sit down, pass the torch to somebody that's willing to come to the table that's so right. we can move this country forward hand in hand. And now, also now, recognizing uh -huh. that Martin Luther King had a dream. It's time for us to wake up from the dream and start fulfilling that dream. There's so many people that are still stuck in that dream, and that's why they're still running around here talking about we shall overcome and don't realize we've already done overcame, and now it's time for us as American people to come up. That's right. Now, ladies, let me ask you, you did reference, uh, at least one of you said that he was a supposed civil rights icon. Is there a dispute there from your lens as to whether no, John he's a Lewis... civil rights icon. Oh, okay. Excuse me, let me clarify. Yes. He's a civil rights icon, but what really gets me is that they're still fighting. These older icons, civil rights leaders, yes. are still fighting a fight from the 60s. We done overcame that. This That's is 2017. Right. Let's move this country forward. And if we have a president that wants to make this place great again for all people, then let's help him do That's it. Help. That's right. Well, no, your passion is understood because when people won't even come to the table, whether it's Chuck and Nancy uh, or, or not attending the inauguration, how can you have a conversation? How can you heal when you're not even in the conversation? That's right. You can't exactly. deal if, listen, you can't heal if you can't deal. And well, that's why I'm so happy. Table, I'm so fine. happy that the uh, widow of late uh, Megger Evers is going to be there because she wants to talk about uh, to President yeah. Trump and the rest of the, you know, his administration about what they're doing on the civil rights issue. That'll be good. Yeah. Diamond and Silk it. laying it out. Thanks, it out, guys. As, well as always, you, you uh, boil it right down and give us the pulse of what's happening out Appreciate there. It. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. You got All it. right. Still ahead. At